Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. So, we are still hard at work out here. We have been um, recording multiple videos because we're getting a lot done. So, we decided to bring you along because we are putting up tomato trellis. Tomato trellis. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, yes, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> What Mr. H is doing on our first row of tomatoes here, um, over here in the, the smaller garden, he's putting up a trellis for us. And we are using, we made these tomato cages. Remember these? These big gigantic round tomato cages <coughs> that we made last year. These were okay. But we didn't really like them very much. We had a big problem with Japanese beetles, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and plus, every time we would try to go in to harvest a tomato, the beetles would just fly out. It would be like hundreds of them. Yeah. And so it made it difficult for us to see the damage because it was so many leaves, so much foliage inside of this cage. And it was difficult to get in to maintain yeah, those tomatoes. So we're not doing these anymore. I'm not telling you not to do them. If you like them, <clears throat> you might not have the same issues that we have here. So if you like them, use them. But for us, these did not work. But we are not going to let these go to waste because we have already cut out the squares in them, the big squares to be able to put our hands in. We've already cut those out and everything so we're not going to let these go to waste what we're going to do is unfasten them right here and then we are going to connect them with zip ties in the center here where there's no fence post but we're going to open them up so it's just one long tomato trellis so that's what we're going to do we're going to take you all along with us while we do it y'all stay tuned and we'll take you along won't be much talking just y'all so we're back it's another day we had to take a pause where are you coming from don't you walk through my garden we had to take a pause because we hit a snag right here we were putting in that last fence post and didn't realize that there was a line an irrigation line down here and we hit it and boy did we bust out a nice big hole we had to shut the water off and we went through a lot trying to get this fixed, but we got it fixed. So all we did was we cut an extra piece of pipe, put it down here. And Mr. H clamped it on both sides, one on the old holes, the new piece of holes. So that's why we have two on each side. So now that we have this fixed, we had to dig out a nice big hole, a nice long trench so it could, the water could drain down. So now all that's left to do, we let this sit overnight and uh it's still looking good it's still dry so the only thing that's left to do is to fill this hole back in with dirt 
finish getting this row right here for the tomatoes all trellised up and then we can finish with getting our tomatoes tied up and we did a good job at saving this tomato not having to dig it out in order to fix that leak so y'all stay tuned okay. so now we have all of our trellises up for our tomatoes we are going to have to come back because this is just plain fence panel so we're all going to have to come back and cut some nice size holes in here so that we'll be able to reach through from both sides and get all of our tomatoes now that hole it's buried again it's nice and covered up tomatoes good but we had to move the fence post over and we'll be adjusting for this little baby right here but as you can see all of our tomatoes it's time to get them trellised up some of them are standing but then we got these that are on the ground and this happened after the rain see like that over there mr h is picking it up so after the rain these babies just took off and uh, we were late getting that trellis in but that's okay we're going to get them trellised up today and we're going to show you how we do that in another video this video is long enough but just want y'all to see how we got the trellis all zip tied right here we got zip ties and the panels that we had to join together we used the wire to loop around like right here we used the wire to loop around separate panels to hold them together to make them as one and then i just added some small zip ties here as a reinforcement so yeah we have the trellises up for all three rows of tomatoes over here in our smaller garden you all that is going to do it for this video we wanted to just show you how we're going to be trellising our tomatoes using the fencing that we had and also <coughs> i'll show you as well in the big garden what we use to trellis up to our tomatoes in another video but that's going to do it you all we certainly want to thank you all so much for following our journey and watching us on the homestead today if you haven't done so already go ahead and give our video a nice big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. Appreciate it. Appreciate everything. We got them up. We, we worked hard, but not as hard as yesterday. Not as Boy, yesterday was something yesterday else. Yesterday was something else. Oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we, Mr. H was dead. He put that fence post down. And all of a sudden I said, what is that? Do you hear that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. And then water just started coming up everywhere. So... Now yeah. we learn that we have a drill, uh, irrigation line running along yeah. this line right here. All that digging we done to make these beds yeah. didn't touch one pipe, but all of a sudden, right yesterday, <laughs> the pipe yesterday, we had a pond over here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to do it for today, you all. Thank you again so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, y'all. To each and every one of you, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Peace. <laughs>